Okay, this is a pretty tricky boy. It's got this, you know, it's fundamentally permutation because we're arranging letters, but it's got this aspect where some of the letters are identical to each other. So, we, you know, having them like two identical letters swap places with each other isn't any different kind of deal going on. Now, so I'm going to make three letter codes, but you have to realize immediately that the numbers I would use to fill in these slots will, will, they will change depending on whether I'm picking, you know, letters that are ident identical to each other. So when I realize that, it means I've got to split it into a few scenarios. The first scenario is where I pick all different letters. I split it into scenarios that are differentiated by wh whether we use a repeating letter and how many. Or not. Yeah, okay. So in this case, there's, there's a case where we use all different letters. There's a case where, where two are the same, two letters are the same, and then one different from that. And then there's a case where all the letters are the same. Well, so first of all, these this top and bottom case are easy because if they're all different letters, I really just am choosing like P, E, R are the letters I have to choose from. Because I'm, I'm taking out from consideration their identicals. Because I'm, I've decided in this, in this situation I'm choosing all different letters. So this is just three, two, one, six. When they're all the same, I mean, if you look at the, the only thing that works for that is when it's all P, so it's basically that, it's just one scenario there and six scenarios up top. Now this, this middle one, I mean, you could do it with combinations because you have, in order to get a doubled up letter, it needs to be either a P or an E. So you have this, there's two options to choose from, choosing one and you get, you, I think the best thing to do is just to draw out the scenarios. So it could be that, you know, we double up the E's or double up the P's. And then it finish off, finishes the EEP or EER. Basically, I just I start by saying, okay, it has to be either a P or an E if it if it gets doubled up, and then you finish off with a different letter, like you know PPR or PPE. So this is just four scenarios. It's not that bad to draw out. Probably worth doing one, two, three, four scenarios. Now you have to remember these could have been in a d different orders. These letters, just in this one scenario, these letters could be redrawn in different orders. How many different orders? Well, it's like the permutations with identicals formula. There's three different letters, two identical E's, one P. And this will be true for all four of these scenarios. So I really have, you know, these come together to be four times, let me choose one, is 12 scenarios. 12, 12, 6 is 18, plus 1 is 19. There we go.